Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David and this is how to add unfinished business to your already existing Outer Rim game. We would be honored if you would join us. Unfinished business, it's finally here. Oh my goodness. I've had Outer Rim for a long time, been playing it, my family loves it. And of course, like you, like y'all, we've been asking and asking, when is the expansion set coming out? Uh, the expansion set came out a while ago, <laughs> actually. Uh, I only just recently got it uh, for Christmas. There was a while where it was sold out and harder to find, and so glad to be able to have picked this up. But like you, uh, you might have received one yourself, and now you're a little hesitant to add the new pieces to the old, to the original, and you're wondering what all the new things are. Um, all I really want to do with this video is just open the box, show you exactly what comes inside, explain what all the new things are briefly, and how to incorporate uh, this new expansion set into your original game. Of course, you're always gonna wanna refer back to your rule book with any questions. I'm only gonna cover the surface, but I'm gonna make this nice and clean and short so that you can get started. Let's go. Opening the box up, you're gonna see your new rules, right? Here's your expansion rules, uh, right on top. This is gonna tell you everything that's included. And of course, anything I don't cover in this video, you're gonna wanna refer back to this. Um, here's all your new pieces, new characters, uh, new chips, new cards, and we'll get into all of that. And then you're gonna have two sets of cards, some new standees, and some new dice. And so the first thing I would do is let's take the plastic off of this and punch out all these cards. And afterwards, if you were like me and you were just so excited to punch all this out, you made a giant mess. <laughs> let's, let's regroup all this and I'll show you what everything is. Okay, first thing you're going to notice is now you have two new core world end caps. Okay, you have trailing core and spinward core, which means they've got some planets. You also see a little hyperdrive symbol. And here's where the enemy ships are going to go. Like previous, you're going to start using these new end caps with your game, and you're not going to use the end caps that came with the game. So the ships will work similar, but now you're going to notice that you'll have this hyperdrive symbol, which means you'll now be able to use a, a warp and jump from one end of the map to the other, which is pretty cool. You should also have four of these 10,000 credit tokens. You'll have 12 of these goal tokens four damage tokens. These are the new debt tokens, and this is a new element to the game. You'll have four of these, one for each player. And you're gonna get more contact tokens. So you're gonna have 11 of these orange contact tokens. They will work very similar to the ones you've had previously. However, uh, they will be turned upside down and placed on the planets. So now the orange tokens get placed face down after you shuffle them onto the planets of your game board. And I think this is what everybody was waiting for, new characters. So we're gonna have eight new characters that you could play, eight new ways to play the game. Uh, let's look at the cards and how to set the rest of the game up. Okay, so rather than put everything out one thing at a time, I have laid out an entire game for my family of four, and I've already added all the components. So I'm simply gonna walk you through each one of the new things you'll do to set up your expansion set. First thing you'll notice is you have new core world end caps, and you're gonna place the enemy ships just like you did before. However, this time you're gonna place both of the number one enemy ships on one shared space right there. This will also act as a planet, and you'll be able to have um, encounters from these planets, both here and here. Notice I've done the same thing with my enemy ships. Of course, that means if you're playing unfinished business, you won't need the old caps. So I'm just gonna stick these back in the box. Unfinished business comes with new encounter cards for every single one of the planets. You're gonna just add those in to the cards you already have. With the exception of this one card from your original set, you're gonna find one card from the Ring of Kafreen and it is this card right here. As you can see, it's number 10 out of 10. You're gonna pull this one out and they have a replacement for you in the new set. 
you're also going to receive new market cards. You're going to want to add those to the respective decks and shuffle them all up together. Of course, that means you'll also have new NAV point cards. You're going to shuffle those together and you're going to get additional data bank cards. Now you can see that the stack goes to 98 and it's a lot taller. You're just going to add the new cards in, in their numerical order. And remember, we don't shuffle this deck. This new set of cards, this is your encounter deck for the core worlds and going across the core. That's two things. So here, your ship could land here, and this would be one of the core worlds. And if you choose to have an encounter here, then of course you'll select the top card and you'll read the side that says core worlds. If you're choosing to go from this place all the way over to this place, then you're going to read the part of the card that says across the core and then do each goal respectively. Unfinished Business also comes with orange contact tokens. You're going to place those on top of all of the planets. The only exception is you won't place them here on the end caps. Of course, everybody's excited about the new characters with Unfinished Business. You'll want to put each one of them in their new standees and that'll serve as your game token during gameplay. You're also going to get a few extra die in Unfinished Business and this will be useful when you do the favors aspect. Two new parts to Unfinished Business that add a new layer or a new element to Outer Rim. First is your debt token and the second is your ambition sheet. So your ambition sheet works as a second set of goals in addition to trying to get to 12 fame. So now you have two things you need to do to win the game. Uh, you need to get to 12 fame and you need to accomplish these three goals. You're going to find all of these sheets and probably have them face down. You select one more sheet for however many players you have. So if you're playing with a family of four, like I am, you'll get five of these out, shuffle them all up, and have each person draw one at random. Look at the top, it tells you, for instance, this goal is called Crime Lord. Your setup is 4,000 tokens, and this replaces the tokens, uh, the money that's given out at the beginning. And it says you also get the DL44 Heavy Blaster Pistol, so that means you're going to go to this deck and you're going to pull that pistol out and gain that immediately. Then off to the side, you see you have three new goals. So these are in addition to your reputation. You'll have a first goal, an ongoing goal, and then you'll have a kind of final boss goal. And you're going to put your goal token indicators on the sides there as you accomplish each one. And the first person to win all of their ambition in addition to their fame, wins the game. So this is your debt token indicator. And you can put it there uh, along with your, your goal tokens. Uh, you can really put it anywhere you'd like. But what this is, is it's a promissory note. So during the game, uh, other players can ask you for a favor or you can ask them for them a favor. If they say they'll do the favor for you, but they would like your debt token along with that, they'll do the favor for you and you give them your debt token. When they have your debt token, what that means is they now have a favor back from you of their choice. So how can you learn more about favors? Well, you'll learn more about favors on the new player turn cards that come with this. Um, the first thing you'll notice on the new player turn card is now it says, you can discard up to two cards from the top of the market deck. The previous uh, cards said only one, but that's really the only difference between this card uh, side and the other. Now on the back, it lists the four favors you can ask of another player. So you can either ask for their skill set, you can ask for an extra die during combat, which is why you have the extra die. You can ask for one of their uh, reputations, or you can gain plus one on your travel until the end of turn. The player that you're asking for the favor from, they can just do the favor for you. They can ask for monetary uh, value from it. So they'll say, yes, I'll do that for you, but you have to give me 2000 credits. Or they can ask for money and they can ask for your debt token. 
And it's, of course, it's up to you if you would like to do that for them. Now, of course, sadly, that doesn't mean that the old player turn cards are obsolete. Because if you remember on the back of the old cards, there is still the ways to gain fame cheat sheet and the skill test cheat sheet. You may still wish to have these out for each player. Also in Unfinished Business, you'll have a new set of AI Bounty Hunter cards. And so these will be the stacks you use when you play the single player game. And I know these really big games can seem overwhelming with all the cards and all the little pieces, all the little tokens. And so that's why I got a game organizer and it's gonna keep everything nice and situated, especially money during gameplay. And so I'll throw up a picture uh, of what I purchased on Amazon if you'd like to buy your own. All right, so I hope that helped. Just take some of the trepidation away from adding your new set into the original. And of course, like I said, please refer back to your rule book uh, for any questions. Uh, the cool thing about the new things, the debt tokens and the new goals, you don't have to do both of them. You can say, let's, let's do a game with just debt and, and not the new goals, or let's just do a game with the new goals, but no debt. You can mix and match. However you, the other players say they wanna play, you can add each component in one at a time if that helps. Just learn the debt system until you got that down and then add the new set of goals for each player. It's up to you. It's you Star Wars how you want to Star Wars, okay? Don't let anyone tell you how you can uh, experience your fandom. And uh, as always, I have vintage toy reviews. I have vintage book reviews. Uh, I do these game tutorials. I'm currently building an X-Wing. Uh, I did some uh, videos where I walked through and built a Kylo Ren costume. I'm going to be building uh, Boba Fett soon, I hope. <laughs> That's my next cosplay that I'm excited about. So uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and may the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.